Hey guys, RTT back here for another video guys. Today, I'm going to be reviewing running Windows 10 Launcher on the Surface Duo. So pretty much what this is, it's, it's a computer launcher for the Surface Duo. And we've talked about many, many times, could Windows 11 run on the Surface Duo too? And to be honest, it's very possible right now. It's between Android 11, Android 12, or Windows 11. I still believe it will be Windows, um, so it will be Android 11. But again, like I said, it could be either or. So this is what the actual interface looks like for this launcher. So you guys can see, yeah, this is exact, what, exactly what a Windows 10 you know, would look like on this device. And if you go and get Windows 11, which like I said, is right now rumored, could happen. This is exactly the same concept. So starting off right away, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the screen, at the uh, actual uh, scroll down menu right here. So just like Windows 10, you go ahead and launch that up. And you guys can see I have all my applications on the left hand side here. And honestly, it does work exactly like a phone. If I go ahead and click on that, it will bring up my phone tab, which is kind of weird in a way, I will say. Uh, does go ahead and kind of glitch out when I do bring up my phone tab. Again, like I said, it's not perfect right now, this launcher, uh, but this is not natively running the software on this device. This is like a copy and paste of adding Windows 10 to a Surface Duo that's a launcher. If you guys don't know what I'm trying to say, this is not like an actual device where I'm actually running this long, or this is actually software on this device. It's just a little bit of a launcher. So just like normal, I can go ahead and go to the right hand side. Here I have all the stuff I would have on a Windows 10 computer. I also do have my calendar right over here. I have my system notifications, which should take me to, yep, here we go. We got airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that kind of good stuff and settings right there. Got my display. If I want to go ahead and make my display brighter or dimmer, doesn't, actually wait, let's see if this works. It doesn't look like this works. I know that the, all these other buttons work, but it doesn't look like the display actually turning it up or off actually works uh, very well. But we do have my text messages, my Google Chrome, my YouTube, and we also have a Cortana. We have YouTube right here, WhatsApp, a recycling bin, themes, this PC, user, and Google. Let's click on themes, and you guys can see this is what it actually looks like. We have our default theme is Windows 10 system, but we have another Windows 10 we can go ahead and install. We have the S21 theme. We have Windows 7, Windows 10, all that kind of good stuff. And honestly, it honestly is really cool. You can even run uh, Vivo Next 3 theme and so on and so on. It's a whole entire list of different themes you can run on this. And I am just absolutely stunned how good this actually looks. So obviously this is the default theme, which is this one right here. Let's go ahead and download another theme here. Um, and I'm not sponsored in any way by this. I just really think this is a cool concept. Uh, this is interesting to me. Now this might not be interesting to you, but it's the idea of running Windows 11 on this device that is actually what's interesting me, right? So let's go ahead and open this up. This is Windows 10, um, another kind of you know clone shell of Windows 10. And okay, so I think, let me see. Let me go ahead and put it like this. Actually, is it gonna make me, I think it's gonna make me apply that. Um, okay, let's try this again. <laughs> A little glitched out here. Okay, so I think I have to open it up like this. That should work. It's gonna make me sign into my Google account. I think it's gonna make me sign in my Google account. So it looks like a little glitchy here. Uh, apply. Um, for improved switch sensors, uh, no. All right, so here we are. We have this bad boy right here. So apply that. Um, select launcher, MacBook launcher, computer launcher. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and do computer launcher. And this looks like it's working. All right. Is this the same one? Oh, here we go. So now it's a little bit different. Uh, by wallpaper or supply, um, enable blur. Sure. There we go. So now we have what is, looks like. Windows 10, but a little bit different. Again, like I said, 
it's just a really cool idea because this gets me excited to think like what if we could do the same concept with Windows 11 on this device? Now, obviously, this is not running the whole software of Windows 10. But if you could run Windows 10, you could actually use this like an actual, you know, computer. I think this is, could be a really cool concept. And like I said, I'm just excited to see how much more they can do. So obviously, we have, you know, all my applications right here. We have Skype, Facebook, um, WhatsApp, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And this actually even has a shutdown menu. Wow even has a shutdown menu that's really dope i will say that okay computer launcher let me go ahead and do this okay i'm gonna have to launch that back up uh computer launcher there we go let's do bo both screens might be a little glitch out for a second let's see nope there we go all right so just like that back to windows 10 and okay so it looks like if i hit that button for that it takes me into settings i think actually wait no does that work it doesn't. Okay. So you can actually, that's interesting. So it's not going to work. It's not going to let me be able to hit the power button. Like I said, if this was actual software, we'd be able to hit the power button and have no issue at all. So tell me down below guys, your thoughts and opinions of this. Um, you know, if you had this on a regular phone, like a, you know, regular one screen phone, I don't think it'd be a really cool concept, but when you have it on a dual screen phone like this, I feel like it just adds even more to the atmosphere of the device. Um, you just, you know, we can go ahead and drag applications. Uh, let's see. There we go. Just like that. Just like, you know, normal. And the thing is, right, you could add a wireless keyboard to this and you could add a wireless mouse, which would even add more to the factor. And if we go ahead and put it in a uh, phone mode, let's see if this actually will work. It should work in phone mode. Um... There we go. So if I have it like this in phone mode, right? And I have a wireless keyboard and mouse here. I can go ahead and just start typing, do all that kind of good stuff. Guys, this is a cool concept. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'm going to give this review of this launcher a 7 out of 10. Actually, you know what? No, an 8 out of 10. I think it's a really cool concept. And I would definitely say it gets me excited to see possibly a Windows 11 on this device. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.